Hey YouTube, Hugmeister's Garage and Workshop. Then a couple upgrades to the old uh, F-250. Got a couple of those uh, swing box toolboxes that you put in the back. Tell you what, these are pretty nice. Swing them out, I keep all my uh, straps and gloves and whatever in here. Then you just swing it back out of the way. And you still got most of your truck bed left. But the real gem is this new set of train horns I put in. A complete air system. I had this old uh, hypertherm plasma cutter box that I uh, made an enclosure for it. I didn't want to mount them underneath because I don't use the back of the set often, but I got that Vi-Air 480C compressor with the two gallon tank. Uh, piped it into this manifold and then uh, I got a little more reserve because I got this two and a half gallon uh, uh, aluminum tank and uh, I put this little piece of screen down here so I can reach underneath and I can still drain that and I drain that but uh, I had a few small leaks but I finally got them taken care of uh, those DOT uh, brass fittings are the way to go I mean they don't leak once you get them tightened down I also put a time delay relay in this so the compressor isn't trying to start up when it's calling for air when the truck starts so they're both not uh, pulling at the same time. It gives it like a 10 second uh, delay and then it'll start after the truck's running. It's a little easier on the compressor motor. But, uh, this enclosure turned out pretty nice. The way I ran it, I ran a piece of uh, old uh, uh, telephone fiber inner duct. You can see that orange pipe down there. And I ran that down underneath the truck. And I'll show you the front here in a second. I close this box back up. This box is a pretty heavy, well, bo heavy uh, wall box. So you can, uh, you know, you're gonna jam up like a piece of uh, plywood or something up against it. It's not gonna bust what's inside. It's pretty tough, but I think it ended up like a pretty neat installation in the back. I'll show you the front. Now that's where I ran that uh, fiber duct along the rails and brought it up into the compartment where those uh, outfitter switches are, which are really handy. I wired the 40 amp to the uh, compressor back there in the time delay. I also mounted the two, uh, I got two uh, relays up here, or not relays, uh, air valves. I got one that goes to the Hadley horns that I also have in the front, and that's my regular horn. Then I mounted another one to an air dump that uh, just comes out the front if I want to dump or just hit a little air on there. That works pretty good. I also piped in a air outlet fitting on the back. So I got 200 PSI of air and I just screw in a little plug-in regulator for it. Put the switches in here. That's the train horn. And that's the air dump button. There's the remote gauge. But uh, these babies are pretty slick. I also got an electric horn in the front. But uh, hold on a second. I'll turn this on. See if we can piss the neighbors off again. But the electric horn. That relay on the other side, if I pull that, this will touch off the Hadley. And then you got the loco train horns. And let me tell you, this videotape doesn't do those things justice. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, folks.